Are you having trouble finding the truth about North Korean ghost ships in Japan? If so, you're in the right place. I'm gonna guide you through what North Korea may be hiding from us. Coming up. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom, your guide to your big trip to Japan. I'm on a mission to help 10,000 people plan your adventurous, meaningful trip to Japan, enjoy the journey of a lifetime, and thrive as a seasoned world traveler. So if you're new here, one, get your travel guide. Two, subscribe to Big Trip to Japan. Three, plan your big trip to Japan. And four, enjoy your journey of a lifetime. In mid-January, the first North Korean ghost ship of 2018 washed up on the shores of Western Japan. A wooden ship laden with corpses of seven men were discovered on an Ishikawa prefecture beach. Another corpse just 15 meters away also washed up on shore. A badge with the likeness of Kim Jong-il and Kim Il-sung, as well as a box of cigarettes with Korean letters was found inside the boat. The boat in Ishikawa Beach was the first for the year, although at least eight additional North Korean ghost ships in Japan had also washed up along the shores of Japan. Japan officials said that in 2017, there were 107 apparent North Korean ghost ships that washed up on the shores of Japan with numerous corpses. No one knows for a fact why this is a recurring phenomenon, but there are several workable and plausible theories. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Hunger and a loss of hope are amongst a core belief of what's driving boats out into deep treacherous waters between the Korean Peninsula and Japan. During the winter, the seas in that area are very rough and bring about more shipwrecks. Japan is more than 600 miles away from the North Korean Peninsula and the vast majority of North Korean ghost ships drifting to Japan are rudimentary watercraft ill-equipped to travel vast distances and traverse dangerous waters. There's also a belief that the surge in ghost ships could be a result of high pressure tactics of the North Korean government upon fishermen to travel great distances to haul their catch. Ma Chang Mu, Senior Research Korea Maritime Institute, South Korea said, fish are a vital resource for North Koreans because they are the cheapest source of protein and they can sell it to China for cash. It was reported by the Korea Institute for International Economic Policy that during the first half of 2017 alone versus the same months in 2016, seafood exports to China from North Korea surged by a whopping 88%. Overfishing along the North Korean coastal areas is another possibility that's plunging North Korean fishermen deep into deadly seas. According to researchers, several years ago, Pyongyang granted fishing rights to Chinese companies in North Korean waters, which has led to depleted fish stocks. Analysts have reported that North Korean fishing boats will frequently offload their catches on the high seas, which allows them to label them as caught by other nations in order to circumvent strict international sanctions levied upon North Korea. Planning a big trip abroad? Check out Atlas Travel Insurance in the links in the description below. Watch another great video about breaking news, Japan travel here or in the description below. Watch another awesome video from Big Trip to Japan here. Now is the time to be something greater.